64-year-old rock and roll veteran Dwayne Osepchuk is the curator of Edmonton's History of Rock and Roll Online. How'd you get all these old records? I kept them. And, uh, you know, I got some of the Footloose stuff. Uh, the Royal Family, the One Horse Blue. We had Barry Allen, Barry Allen. West Dacus, Cheyenne Winter. But the Edmonton rock and roll scene saw its first light around 1958. 1958 with the Nomads, the Rockatoons, and uh, uh, Tommy Banks had a, a rock band. Uh, there's Hank Smith's band, he played the bass, and the Rockatoons, they were the first top three startup bands in rock and roll in Edmonton. In your opinion, Dwayne, who are the the best of the best out of Edmonton over those times? Well, West Vegas and the Rebels, number one. Uh, we had, uh, I like to think our band, the Southbound Free, we were up there. The Nomads, Willie and the Walkers, James and the Bondsmen, who were earlier called the Pharaohs. Don't forget the early Lords, later the Privilege. Lionel Neveu, Mel Deegan, the late great Harry Krawcheck, who uh, got offered to play bass with the Everly Brothers. Clay White. Wayne Kozak, Al McGee. West Dacus and the Rebels experienced regional fame and hit instrumentals. Did the lineup of West Dacus change quite a bit? Oh yeah. The Rebels? He had a, he had a horn, horn band back in the 50s. Uh, Jack Paul was a singer, and later on he had Lenny Richards and Mo Marshall. This was a real popular band, a Sidewinder band. Yeah, they were the most famous. Yes, uh, Bobby Clark though had his his mark with the uh, Las Vegas scene. Barry Allen had the biggest hits, I think. Yeah, he's he's first time professional. And was with the Rebels, of course. You know, he's helped so many bands, Hot Cottage. There's his uh, high school. Love Drops, number one hit that ever. That was known. a hit record on local radio. It was a Canadian Canada. hit, wasn't it? Yeah. Canada, right across Canada, six <laughs> weeks in a row. Chuck Berry played here with Fats Domino back in the day at the Edmonton Gardens. That's the Nomads at Alberta Beach, the original hall, before it burnt down. Les Vincent, Hugh Brocky, Gary White. Can't ignore the Graham Wafer or Warp Factor on the best list, but Dwayne's Edmonton Rock and Roll photo collection is extensive. Most of it is on the Edmonton Rock and Roll Facebook page. History and, and memories and high school uh, photos that, uh, I just kept all this stuff, uh, newspaper clippings, even dance dates. Like people, the bands go, whoa, I didn't know you had that. And uh, if you've got something to uh, submit to us, we'll definitely have a look at it and uh, post it at DuanoSepchuk at, uh, at Hotmail.com. It'll get, it'll get to my, uh, my site and we can uh, expand on that. It's great. For Go Edmonton, I'm Tim Dancy.